I'm going to jump into develop module. Okay, I'm going to open this image in develop module. And we're going to focus on the eyes. So we're doing our work on the eyes. We're going to make them brighter and more colorful as well. Okay, the image opened in develop module. I'm just going to zoom in. Okay, so I'm on a 100% view. Okay, I can zoom in even more. So I'm going to zoom in to say 300 even. Okay, right. And I'm going to start with the adjustment brush tool. So I'm going to click on adjustment brush. Okay, and I'm going to, well, we can play with all these settings in here. So for now, I'm just going to maybe increase the clarity a bit so we can see what's happening here and increase the saturation I'm going to leave the exposure around zero for now now for the brush in the brush section here for the size I'm going to make it quite small I'll set the feather to zero so there'll be no feather around the brush also the auto mask I'll check it so Lightroom will detect the edges around here that would be great so for the size, maybe even smaller, maybe even less than 10 pixels, quite small. Okay, and I'll start painting here. Okay, just a bit for now. Here we go, over the entire eye. Here we go. Not releasing the mouse button. Actually, using a Wacom tablet, but if you use the mouse, don't use the mouse button, just keep painting around the eye. Okay, and then we'll use the mouse button. Now we're going to have a look, we're going to play with settings. So, with the clarity, it's going to increase it just a bit. More saturation, probably even more. Now, let's zoom out a bit. Let's go to 200%. Okay. Here we go. That's our before and after so far. So far, so good. Let's bring a bit more contrast. Let's bring more light. Let's over expose it a bit, just a tad. Maybe a bit less contrast. More saturation. Okay. Now, the same settings I'm going to paint on the other eye. So I'm going to zoom in back to 300%. Okay, I'll press and hold the space bar to access the hand tool and I'll move it okay, so here. And I'm going to start painting on this eye. Maybe I'll make my brush just a tad smaller. Okay, and I'll start painting. We'll zoom in zoomed in very, very close. So don't worry about that. Okay. And I'm not too precise. Normally, I would spend a bit more time on that and be more precise working on that. I'm going to zoom out to 100%. Okay. And even the color of the eyes changed. But you get the idea we could lower the saturation if we wanted to. Okay. Notice that I'm working on both eyes at the same time. I didn't create the new brush. So I've created the same effect for both eyes. Here and here. Okay. We could even add some color here. So we could click on the color swatch and maybe bring some color. Let's say maybe a green color to make her eyes green, for example. Okay. So we can easily colorize the eyes or let's say more blue. Here we go. Just a lighter blue. Yeah, you get the idea. Okay, I'm just going to cancel that. And this is just a couple of techniques for using the adjustment brush tool in Lightroom for bringing more details in eyes. I'm going to click on close. Okay. And whenever you want to access the brush, just click on the adjustment brush tool. And Lightroom will bring back the pin and will show you the you can decide whether you want to see the pen all the time. So in here, you can show edit pens. You can choose always. What I usually do is I'll just set it to auto. So what happens is it disappears. When you move the cursor over the image, it comes back.